Hey Magical Sparks, welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and today's video is one where we'll be trying out these acrylic marker sets that were kindly sent to me by the team over at Artex. So I did previously try out the pastel marker set in one of my older videos but today we're trying it out again and we're also trying out the 30B acrylic set which I haven't tried out before so I'm really excited to try it out. Let's do it! By the way, I would like to add that while these products were kindly sent to me for free by the company, all opinions and thoughts in this video will be 100% my own and I will be giving you guys a 100% honest review. And with that being said, without any more further delay, let's open the product. Alright, so since I did previously show you guys the pastel set in my older video, today I thought we'll start off with this set. And here is how it looks. And oh my gosh, these are stickers. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I think they're stickers. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I'm going to stick these on and see how it goes. But first, let's look at the colors. And there you go. That was my real-time joy being expressed as I opened the box and realized that it came with stickers to label the markers. I was just so excited once I found that out. I love just how you don't have to activate them like postcards or something. They're just like pre-activated. So amazing. Okay, so there might be someone wondering, okay, Sparkle, why are you so excited about stickers? I mean, they're just stickers with numbers, right? Well, let me explain. So the reason for why I'm really excited is because A, sticking on stickers is fun and B, this was one of the things that I said in my previous video I think or like at least one of the things I thought and I'm not totally sure if I mentioned it in that video but I was thinking about how much easier it would be to identify markers if they had stickers on them and that's why I was so excited when I saw these the packaging of the color drawers, oh my gosh, this is so cool, I love it a lot um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that one is a metallic marker. And coming from voiceover me, I can tell you that there is one gold metallic marker in that set and one silver metallic marker in that set as well, which we will look more into soon. You know how it says open up a new world and get your aesthetic enjoyment? Honestly, the packaging itself is enough for me to get that aesthetic enjoyment. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's amazing. And I think now it's time to open up the second one. To live a creative life and capture art without limits so true yet again another aesthetic experience and this set is actually i have the same feedback that i said with my previous set about not knowing which marker is which because even though we do get to see which marker is which at the back as in like at the back over here we don't really know what marker is which because it doesn't really have the names labeled on top of the markers like with this one at least we had the sticker so now we know like what marker is which we can kind of like find a way to identify them but with these markers Last time I got this set and this time as well, there isn't really any specific labeling, so I think that's just one thing that I would like for it to be different, but otherwise, oh my gosh, it looks amazing! Again, it looks like it's already activated and I love it. And now let's just get her out of there. I'm not really sure if there's a proper way to do this, but how I do it is I kind of just like, like to pull on one side and then once that's a bit loose, I pull on the other and then it kind of just comes out like that. Look at these amazing colors same as last time what a beautiful color palette choice i love these colors and i think with that it's time for us to get swatching i think the entire color identification thing is just like a me thing i don't think anyone else really cares but I don't know. Also, this page is one that I feel like this entire page is one that I filled with my previous acrylic pastel marker set. And these markers are so good. Even though it's a pastel set, they're such a good variety. And for the highlights, I used a Posca. But other than that, it was just the pastel marker set. And now we're zooming in to start swatching. And I'm going to be swatching both the acrylic pen sets A and B on the same page. And then we'll go ahead and compare the colors that you get with both sets. Behold the magic of my fingers. Kidding, kidding. Thank you. 
Okay, so while I did really want to just record this entire video in ASMR mode and just add captions, I couldn't do that because my family is kind of loud, so it's okay, we'll deal with it and we'll be grateful for the ASMR we do have in this video. And as you can see, these markers just glide on the paper. They are so beautiful and I didn't have to activate them. I didn't have to like take my time to activate each and every marker, like all 60 markers. And here are the colors you get in these sets. I'm not even kidding. I love the color selection. Like if you're a pastel person, you have the pastel set. If you like more darker colors, you have the darker set. And if you're someone who likes everything, just get both sets. I mean, this is amazing. And it's so much easier than painting because you can just like grab it out like it's just a marker grab it out start coloring aka painting put the cap back on and close it and it's so easy i mean in comparison to getting out your paints getting out a palette some brushes a cloth a jar with water another jar with more water this just is so much easier and here are the different kind of experimentation thingies that i did and i love the brush nib i haven't seen a lot of acrylic paint pens with brush nibs and these ones have brush nibs and they're so versatile and so amazing and I'm not gonna lie, they are quite sturdy. When I was using them, I did kind of press down hard sometimes and it didn't really do any damage. Like the nibs were still like really strong and sturdy and I was honestly surprised and I pressed down really hard just to test it and you know what? They were perfect. They did not break but I guess if you do constantly press on them over a long period of time then they probably will but honestly, I'm really happy with them. And here is just a quick check of whether the cap fits on the back and yes, it does! Isn't that just the most perfect thing ever? Anyways, with that, I think it's time to get onto the first actual drawing in this video and today I decided to customize my sketchbook as in the front cover and the first page using these markers, so wish me luck! So if someone were to ask me how would I describe these markers to someone who's never even used acrylic paint pens before, here's what I would say. Um, it feels pretty much like using gouache and I mean that in the sense that just the way it's applied like it has like a matte finish and sometimes the colors dry a bit more darker and a bit more lighter as well and it's just like it feels to me just like I'm using gouache even just the blending process the coloring process and if you haven't used gouache before uh, maybe search it up or you know just imagine in your head because gouache kind of feels like a mix between acrylic paint and watercolors anyway back to what i was saying so <laughs> these pens they feel just like using gouache and the thing is to anyone who's used gouache before i think you might know what i mean when i say that there will always be an ugly stage and that's kind of what happened with this drawing as well everything was going great and amazing at first and the thing is I am personally not that good with gouache and since these pens felt like using gouache to me, I did kind of mess up because I kind of lost track of where the line art was and then I just started doing weird stuff. So in my opinion, these pens are absolutely amazing. The only problem and the reason why this drawing didn't turn out looking as amazing as I was hoping is because of me and my lack of practice with using gouache as well as acrylic paint pens. But I am hoping to get back into the groove of it. But I'm not gonna lie, using these paint pens to draw things like fruits and just like more painterly things, it's just like lots of fun. But for me, when I draw people, I feel like I just put that perfectionist hat on, which is why no matter what drawing I do with acrylic paint pens of people, I just always hate how it turns out. But I mean, on one side, this drawing didn't turn out too bad. On the other side, for me, when I was doing it, it just felt like everything was going wrong. But again, I do wanna reiterate that it had nothing to do with the pens. It was just me and my lack of skills and practice, but it's okay, I'm hoping to use these pens more in the future and get the hang of it and hopefully make an updated video where I try to recreate this drawing with the paint pens and hopefully my improved skills. Alright, and now I think I want to just take a minute or so just to talk about the pros, cons and my thoughts on these products. So. Firstly, the pros are, in my opinion, that this set is a very portable. Like, if you want to draw, as in like, if you want to draw with like a painterly effect and you don't want to like do it at home or just like you want to change your location, if that is the case, you can just easily carry these pens around with you. You can just like put it in your handbag or backpack or even just hold it by hand because it's in a really thin, lightweight box and it barely weighs anything. And by the way, this drawing was kind of like 
making me wanting to give up so i decided to switch my project and start working on the cover okay back to what i was saying it's really portable and it's really nice and the second thing i would say is that there's a good variety of colors and it's just so much easier to pack up to set up and to pack up there's less preparation required less cleanup required and it's also just really easy to hold and use and the brush nibs make everything so so much easier and i think that this set would be perfect for anyone who loves to paint or draw or color and also it works great on a lot of different surfaces according to the packaging and i've also tried it on as you can see my sketchbook cover and it did work really well on that so if you're someone who likes to work on different kind of projects on different surfaces then i think this might be good for you and now as for the cons i think one of my biggest cons would be like i said how the pastel set doesn't really have any numbering system on it like it does have a numbering system but there's no kind of specific number written on top of the marker so like it makes it a bit hard for me to tell two pinks apart from each other and it's not really a big deal but i guess if that was really a problem you could always just get some masking tape write some numbers on it and just stick it on your markers yourself so not a big con um i think the second thing i would say is that this set does have a white marker but it's not like completely opaque it's not like a white gel pen per se it's kind of like translucent like you can see it there but you can't really cover up something with it unless you go over it multiple times but i think that's about all i had to say other than that this set is pretty good oh and one more thing in terms of like reactivation and using a dried marker, I know that for Posca's, when your marker feels like it's about to dry out, you can always shake it and try to do the same thing that you did when you were activating it initially or, you know, reactivating it. But with these pens, if they ever become a bit dry, I'm not sure how to like fix that. But I feel like if I did do some research, I would find out. Okay, and now back to this drawing because I felt like I was ready to approach it. I was ready to face the mess I had made and hopefully clean it up a bit. Um, wish me luck. If I'm being totally honest, I don't like how this drawing turned out in the end, but at the same time, I don't hate it, so I'm like 50-50, but again, like I said, everything was just going wrong. And I feel like another part of the problem was that I really just haven't been drawing all that much lately because of homework and just burnout and slight art block i wouldn't call it art block but just like not the mood to draw and because of that i've just been feeling like i've lost touch but it's okay we're getting back into it and now the last thing i wanted to say was my final thoughts on these products and so in my opinion i think that these products are definitely great i love them a lot and i think that anyone who loves to paint would love these as well and they're just like really easy to clean and they don't really need any preparation. The color variety is really good. And if you get both sets, you can maximize the amount of colors you have. And I just love everything about these markers. Really, I don't really have any cons to say because they are really amazing. Um, but I think that maybe you should do some research and see if they work on other surfaces, if you're like a crafter or something. But otherwise, I do love them because they do work great on paper and as we can see right now, on sketchbook covers too. So this cover did not turn out that pretty. It is a bit messy and imperfect, but I feel like that's perfect for me because it reflects my imperfections as an artist and as a person. And, and I think that kind of just represents my sketchbook in an honest way and it just shows that I'm not perfect, but I don't have to be and i love myself just the way i am and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys have a fabulous day stay awesome as always and i'll see you guys in my next video see ya bye if you watched this far number one you're amazing and number two let me know you made it this far by commenting this emoji down below in the comments